Hey guys, Tech Flash here, and thank you so much for tuning into this video today because what I have for you is another exclusive first hands on video into a flagship phone, which most likely you haven't really heard about. And this is not a rumored video, this is not a leaked video, this is not a what to expect video. This is an actual hands on video on a phone that you have never heard of because it actually hasn't been announced yet. That's right, this phone is a concept. I have it in my hands, but it's not a phone that will be released least or will be launched. This is a concept from a very reputable company that's upcoming with the greatest technology and the greatest features out there. The purpose of this phone right now is to showcase you the capabilities of what this company can bring and will most probably be bringing to future phones. Now the phone in question is brought to you by Infinix. Just by saying that, I'm pretty sure that you guys now may have an idea of what phone I'm talking about. The complete name of the phone is called the Infinix Concept Phone 2021. And the reason for that name is that this phone is never going to be launched, but the purpose of this phone, as I mentioned earlier, is to showcase you what Infinix is capable of and what it might be bringing to the table for future products. A lot of people were calling this the Infinix Zero X, which was rumored and leaked all over the internet. To give you guys an idea of just how exclusive this phone is, there's a very high probability that this might as well be one of the very first videos doing an actual hands-on review on this phone. So this is a pretty big deal. Keeping in mind, this is a concept phone, so we will not be getting all the accessories we normally can expect, but we won't be ignoring them either because those are just as important as the phone itself. And I'll explain that in a little bit. Looking at the charging cable, this is a USB-C to USB-C cable. And if you've already peeked at the charger, you can probably see that it says 160 watts. This is probably the most ridiculous feature of this unboxing. I have never in my life seen a phone that comes and supports 160 watt charger. Infinix calls this the ultra fast charge technology as we see mentioned on the charger. And that's not all. This phone also supports 50 watt wireless charging. Normally, we're used to seeing maybe a 20 or a 30 watt charger come with everyday phones, but Infinix was like, hold up, let me show you what's up. And they came out with a 160 watt charger. Laptops even nowadays don't come with a 160 watt charger. So just put that into perspective. Looking at the display, Infinix did not hold back and they went ahead with the 6.67 curved AMOLED display which looks amazing. Not only is the display curved but it actually is almost fully wrapped around the size of the phone and integrates an 88 degree limit radiant. The buttons are also placed a little bit further alongside the back instead of near the front because of the curved display. Design wise the phone looks pretty good and we can see on the bottom we have the speaker grill, the USB-C port and the SIM slot. Since this is a concept phone I cannot take out the SIM slot and show you because a SIM wouldn't really work at this moment. But I can tell you that this phone has been tested to be able to support three SIM cards at once. Looking at the back of the phone we see the bold now branding again alongside with what I think is a massive camera. The main camera itself is a 64 megapixel camera and it also has a periscope camera of 8 megapixels which is capable of having a 60 times digital zoom. Now probably the most unique feature of this phone is the way this phone acts when it's being charged. To give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about, if you are familiar with RGB lighting, this phone also kind of runs a little bit on that concept where a very thin film has been installed on the back of this phone using a new technology that enables the back to light up and change color depending on what you're doing with the phone. To give you guys a little bit of a demo, if I plug in the charger, you will see that the back lights up to indicate the phone being charged. This is something never seen before on phones and I think it gives you a very good idea of what Infinix has in store for the upcoming phones. Now I want to touch a little bit more on the charging and the battery of this phone because I think that's one of the most unique things that we've seen so far. The Infinix comes with a 4000 milliamp battery which has been improved with security features to be able to support a 160 watt charger. I want to grab your attention here and ask you what you guys think is the 0 to 100% charge time of a 4000 milliamp battery. Let's say your phone is dead, like it has 0% battery. What do you guys think would be a fast charge time to reach 100% battery? 30 minutes would be maybe an appropriate guess for a fast charger. Well, let's go even lower and let's say 20 minutes from zero to 100%. That would be actually amazing. Actually, no, this phone charges from zero to 100. Are you guys ready? In just 10 minutes, 
That's right, 10 minutes is all you need to fully charge your phone from 0% to 100%. If that isn't mind blowing, then I don't know what is. It takes me more than 10 minutes to take a shower. Imagine putting your phone on charge at 0%, you go in to take a shower, you come out 10 minutes later and your phone is at 100% charge. You can even see the battery go up right in front of your eyes and it also shows you the watts at which it's being charged at. Quickly taking a look at the specs, this phone comes with 8 gigs of RAM and the internal storage will have different variants of 128 or 256 gigs. Furthermore, it has the 32 megapixel front camera and this phone also runs the MediaTek's Helio G95 chip which is quite a powerful chipset and it also currently runs on Android 11. Coming to a conclusion, it is very exciting to see a brand like Infinix stepping into the flagship food chain and showing us what it is capable of. This only makes me think that we will be seeing a lot more from this brand. Normally when you think about Infinix, you may not think of high-end flagship phones, you mostly think about budget phones, but this concept phone made me think that we will be very soon be seeing something very cool coming to Infinix. So having said that, that will be all for today's video. Please make sure to share as much as possible because it is an exclusive first hands look into this phone. Be sure to show some love, like the video, subscribe for more similar content and let me know what your favorite feature of this phone was down in the comments below and what you would like to see in the future coming from this brand. Thank you guys again and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.